What's up guys, Engineering Aquariums episode four, your host, Sean Fennig. We're gonna talk about the timeline to setting up your tank, uh, start to finish what you guys should be looking at. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, comments, uh, concerns, or answers for people in the comment section, drop those down at any time during the video. Um, hit that like button, give me a subscribe. Uh, yeah, keep up on these videos. And welcome to episode four, timeline for your fish tank. I personally think that no person starting in the hobby should have a tank from when they decide they want a tank to when their tank has a fish in it. That timeline should be three months or longer for anyone who is new in the hobby. Anyone who knows what they're doing, go for it. Um, you know all the ins and outs, you know the, the tricks, you know all the, all the important research things, uh, water chemistry, things like that. For those getting into it, it's not so much that like trying to find all the equipment's hard or setting it up is hard or like drilling your tank is that difficult. Um, it's all of the knowledge behind what we do. What we're doing is we're taking mother nature who has spent a millennia perfecting this art in a very large setting, the whole ocean. We're taking a piece of that into our aquarium and trying to balance everything in it. Um, like most, you, most people know, it's hard enough to balance your life. Imagine trying to balance lives of everything in a fish tank um it's crazy so get that research down get that solid knowledge learn what the nitrogen cycle is learn about calcium alkalinity balances um the importance magnesium plays um learn about uh proper feeding amounts uh learn about high nitrates high phosphates uh how to fix those types of issues um yeah uh so we're going to start off with the research that should honestly take you at least a month before you start buying anything. Um, if nothing else, do the re look up review, look up what you need for a tank. Um, we'll talk about that in some of these future videos. Um, then look up reviews. Um, I personally can, can say that the stuff on my tank I'm pretty happy with right now. Um, I would have gone with some LED lights, but I still haven't been able to find any cheap ones online, so I'm still happy with my light. Um, my power head, there's a new one that just came out. Uh, it's 1,000 gallons per hour. It's Wi-Fi controllable. That one's pretty interesting, but I would have needed two, so it would have costed more. So I'm happy with almost everything I have. If you guys didn't catch any of my previous videos and you want to know what I would recommend for a certain thing, especially given a certain budget, I can definitely help you with that. Um, I would have liked a little nicer of a skimmer, which I'll definitely be upgrading here pretty soon. Um, but little low on funds right now, uh, between jobs kind of thing. So do your research, look into the customer service, ask, ask people on YouTube, uh, do YouTube research. That's one of my favorite was I just sat in front of the computer and just watch videos all day of cool tanks with people talking over them like this one. Um, so do your research for that first month after that, I'd say if you're going live rock, if you've done your research and you're like, I want to go live rock, get your live rock, get it in a bucket, start the curing process. Um, you should know what that is by now. Uh, it's basically removing all of the nasty dead stuff off of it so it doesn't leach into your tank. Um, yeah, so that's gonna take about a month. Um, so now we're at two months where your rock is completely cured. Uh, you should by now have started ordering uh, or buying in person um, the things you need for your tank, your lights, your pumps, your tank itself. Um, I personally went with the Petco dollar a gallon sale happens two times a year. It seems two or three times a year. Uh, I got this tank for 50 bucks. It's a 40 gallon breeder. It technically wasn't a dollar a gallon. Uh, they had 50% off for certain size tanks, kind of a rip off, but Petco has got to make money. So it can't be that mad. Yeah. So get, get all your equipment. Uh, you should have, a, I'd say about half. Of your equipment um, by two months and if you're trying to complete this in three months um, scale this however you need if you're someone who wants to take it slow if you have if you're working two jobs um, and keeping a family together uh, this could be a six month one year project um, just do it when you have time do it for fun guys this that's what the aquarium hobby is about this shouldn't be stressful um, there will be times where things get stressful but this should not be should not be starting off stressful um, so after those, after those two months where you have all your stuff, start putting it together. Um, try to get your, your tank cycling a little bit. Um, maybe you don't have to have all of your 
gadgets and gizmos plugged in. Your stammer doesn't have to be plugged in during your tank of cycling. Um, though I would recommend getting it up and running eventually um, before you put fish in. Use that month. Uh, put fish in quarantine if, you, if you're running a quarantine system. Uh, stuff like that. Really get to learn your tank. Uh, learn the maintenance that it needs. Uh, learn the swings it goes through throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month. Um, learn for yourself what small impacts change other things. I know in my room, opening a window does wonders for my pH, but opening a door doesn't do anything. Um, so I'm working on, working on stuff like that. Um, I currently have some, for the most part, easy to keep coral. Uh, I do have some harder coral and my clownfish are, they're clownfish. They're really hardy animals. Um, so right now my water parameters can swing a little bit. Um, I can... I can still learn my system. I'm doing, personally, I'm doing five gallon water changes every other day. Uh, it's a bit much, especially with the filtration I have. Um, I'm honestly trying to burn through the rest of my instant ocean salt so I can get onto the red sea salt that's meant for hard coral and stuff like that. And then I'll probably be doing smaller water changes dependent on my calcium levels more than anything else. My nitrate should be fine. My phosphate should be fine with my Kato and my um, excessive sand bed. Yeah, so really use take your time guys that's basically what i'm saying use three months at least if you're new to this do research no one has enough no one knows everything even now if you look at the, some of the most renowned people on either youtube or however the professional world of uh, their knowledge behind saltwater tanks um i saw a 50 year old italian talking about tanks that he has been setting up for 30 plus years um and he really knew a lot of old school stuff and he had a lot of philosophies like that but he didn't know some of the new technologies. And then I've seen some YouTubers who will teach you how to program your castle lights perfectly, uh, but they couldn't keep a zoanthid to save their life. Um, so it's really about finding everyone's niche, everyone's knowledge. Um, mine's in the actual design of your filtration and your tank itself, the design, um, how you want things to work. Um, mine's not in keeping perfect water chemistry, um, clearly. Um, Mine's not in knowing the right amount of light to give a coral like that one's probably getting bleached. Who knows? Um, but we're all we're all learning this together. Uh, it's a learning experience. That's part of the fun, uh, finding out new and enjoyable things in the hobby. Um, some people don't start off with a quarantine tank and they never need one, and they learn that they never need one. And some people start off without one, and they have twenty five fish die in the first month. I don't know why you have twenty five fish in your tank in the first month, but they I've seen it. Um, and then all they do is quarantine all their fish from then on out. So it's all about learning. It's about finding what you guys do. Keep doing what you guys do. Engineer your aquariums for you. That's why we're in this hobby. Uh, I'll see you guys around. Drop the likes. Drop the comments. Hit that subscribe button. Appreciate all the support. We'll see you on episode five.